touch it. You are about to embark upon a new video game adventure. <laughs> Welcome back to Dunk Tank. Today, I'm joined by Sean, Woa, Leah. We're talking about the hot topics today. Will Smith is genie. We're talking about uh, uploading to different websites. Uh, Leah, please explain. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we noticed a lot of feedback that you guys would like the podcast available on the popular platforms, um, iTunes and Spotify, those type of things. So we're definitely going to be getting that done uh, ASAP, just to let everyone know off the bat. Uh, we don't know exactly when, but yeah, it will be done. Yeah. Let's start talking about what really matters, though. All right. Yeah. All right. Will yeah. Smith is genie. Of yeah, course. I mean, no, with Oscars. Oh, Yo, right. Did you guys see the Oscars? Of course. Uh, I, no. I did not see yeah. the Oscars, naturally. I also did not see the Oscars. I know you guys are big Oscar heads. You like to watch all of them. Not at all. So I saw one. Never, movie. never seen I'm, one. I might have seen some of the Oscars, but I didn't see the Oscars, if you know what I'm saying. No. If you're picking uh, up what I'm putting down here, you know what I'm saying? He's talking about Oscar Meyer wieners. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've seen those. I've been in the Wiener Mobile once yeah, or twice. Yeah, yeah. Like, like any good American. You've been in the Wiener Mobile. <laughs> I've been in it. You've been in I've it been too. In... Yeah. Oh my I got god. A whistle. Jason, how are we missing out on this? I don't have a Wiener whistle. <laughs> All right. Well, enlighten us on the real Oscars. <laughs> the winner of the 2018 Oscars was the hit film Green Book. Which I'm sure you are mm -hmm. all familiar with. No, yeah, I didn't no. see that one. No. Is that like a sports thing? Or? That is about. Well, I'm looking at the poster. It's it's Aragorn. Oh, you didn't even see it. What? All right. In a car. Aragorn in a car. Aragorn no. is in a car. You've sold yeah. me on the premise already. Well, I think oh. I think you know nobody has seen this movie. Nobody <laughs> must have seen it to, for it to get an award. Like the people like assigning the awards must have they had to legally have seen it to give the award, right? I don't know. It makes me wonder about the voting process. I think it's it's a like it's a vote. If you look at like all the movies that have won since forever, it's just kind of like bland crowd pleasing movies okay i will say i did see birdman and i did like yeah, that that was pretty good <laughs> well this year you guys all saw black panther right yes yes mm -hmm. oh yeah that's the first superhero movie to be nominated for best picture what, what a, why not like infinity war though which also came out this same year and was like <laughs> far and away probably almost one of the best movies of the year literally not just one whoa, of the best superheroes whoa, whoa, whoa. I like I probably like <laughs> Black Panther more than Infinity you War did? to be honest. Oh come on, dude. Yeah. I mean, I don't I can barely even remember Black Panther. Well, I can't remember was... either of them, to be honest. Really? <laughs> what? I just remember liking Black Panther more. You gotta start oh, taking yeah. notes, man. All the Marvel movies just kind of blurred together for me. Mm. I don't know. Infinity War just felt more epic, so to speak. I guess Birdman. It's kind of like a superhero movie. A oh. fake one. Yeah, there's a guy that pretended to be a superhero in He's a Batman. movie. He's the actor from Batman. Yeah, I know. There's no superheroes in the movie. I'm just saying. Come on. Black Panther. Green Book. Come oh, on. Man. Well, I mean, what would you say the movie of the year is? Paddington 2. Come right, well, on. Oh my oh, god, That yeah. is a classic. See? We loved that right. movie. I'm going to not even agree or play along with Sean or anyone else in this oh, one. Oh, I'm playing along. Did I'm not agreeing, Paddington? but I am playing along. <laughs> it's not a classic. <laughs> I'm not even... Did I you see even, it? No, I didn't see it. I'm not going to. Well, you cannot won. judge. No. Yeah. I can judge. There are some things you're allowed to judge won. on. You can't judge a book by its cover. You know. We. I mean, we got Aragorn in a car, so obviously that movie's terrible. But you can't Look, judge yeah. Paddington 2 by its cover. <laughs> Last year, the Shape of Water one. Did you guys see that? Nope. Nope. I saw it I with think, you. Yeah, we saw I'm it. really thinking back, and I think the only movie I saw was actually Black Panther. Uh, of what? Of the year? Oh no, I did see Infinity War too. Those. Are yeah, I was gonna say you gotta see Infinity War at least. I don't know if I've seen. <laughs> I don't remember movies last year at all either. <laughs> it's amazing. Like what happened last year? <laughs> oh, 
They had the Ant Man movie too. I saw that. You only just saw the Marvel movies. I know it's all <laughs> Marvel movies. Superhero movies. That's funny. I feel like that's what everybody does. Uh, oh, holy crap! Spider Man into the Spider Verse. You guys oh, seen that? Oh, yeah, that was a yeah. good one. I heard that was good. I meant to see it. I never did. Sean. Sure. That was the best superhero movie of the year. Sean has got to get out more. Yeah. Sean's only oh. seen one movie. Nope, nope. I uh, Okay, first of all, it's two movies because I did see Infinity War as well. But uh, you're mm-hmm. going to like this. I did see one other movie that I just remembered. Uh, Deadpool 2. Deadpool. Yep, that was another <laughs> one. God. And- God damn. <laughs> Deadpool 2 is pretty <laughs> good too, though. How yeah. many superhero movies come out in one year? Uh, a lot. Uh, all of them. Their main, as many as possible. I think it's Jeez. the United States main export at this point. They need to start a new, another Oscars, <laughs> the superhero Oscars, and run right. that concurrently with the normal Oscars. <laughs> what if they just had a category, best superhero movie? Yeah, they should just <laughs> do that. They will. You can. Yeah, they, they probably can will. That. That's good. Speaking of the Oscars. Speaking of Oscars. Yeah. Sonic. Yeah. You guys yeah. see this Sonic? Yeah. You liking that Sonic? I've just, I've I've played myself some Sonic sometimes, and you know I'm looking at this design and I'm thinking, oh man, I can't wait to see this in action. Well, yeah. <laughs> I don't get this poster. It it looks like 2D. It doesn't yeah. look like 3D. Well, okay. Let's preface by saying I don't think any of us truly believe that that's the final thing. I think this is like a goofy mock-up from a weird pamphlet for some sort of like this is the poster not meant to be viewed by the public no 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 i thought this was the official poster no no well it was all leaked anyways at this leaked. point so yeah. as far oh, as we know none of this right. is real yet yeah, right. but so it's, it's gonna yeah. be way better than this but uh, we can still judge this <laughs> oh i'm judging here's the here's yeah. the thing all right Obviously, this Sonic is the worst thing that anyone has ever seen here in this entire room. <laughs> Obviously. Anything. Well, I mean, did, have we talked about the genie yet? We did talk about the genie, and I, I got to admit, <laughs> this is probably years. worse by a lot, by a big margin. This is what I was saying. This is the new trend. This is the I new know, but, Pokemon oh Will Smith genie, Sonic. I mean, Pokemon's looking really good compared to all these other Compared things. to this, yeah. <laughs> The Pokemon, they're they're all right. They're a little fuck in some circumstances, but uh, here we are looking at Sonic now. All right, but and Sonic, his arms are fuck, not dude. blue. They keep giving oh, him blue arms. I'm not. I'm not this opening like that can. It's like a marketing. It's like a marketing thing, right? Like good graphics. Kids like good graphics, and kids think good graphics go with realism. I don't know, cause they're making all these they're making all these cartoon shows that have no detail in them at all. So I don't get all it. These, all of these things should be two D animated cartoons, right. and not through CGI. Well, what is the whole premise of the movie? Is he gonna be like interacting with humans or like? You know, Leah, what is Leah, he doing? Leah, Leah, Jim Carrey is Dr. Robotnik, okay? That's the premise. <laughs> really? That is the premise. That's is that true? true? That's funny. That, I believe that is true, yes. What? Oh, that's going to be good. <laughs> oh, well, now I'm excited. I can't believe heard that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you guys are going to go see that opening day, right? Oh, absolutely! No, I'm gonna. I'm seeing it the day of, like the day before, like it. when they do the eight o'clock day before yeah. showings. I'm doing that. Oh yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, did you guys play Ape Out? Oh, Ape Out. I, uh, play I played. Ape. I played the heck out of Ape Out. Actually, um, that that game is pretty excellent. Actually, you turn me on to that. As a matter of fact, they they had that at like a couple of packs, I think. Right? How long was that at yeah. packs? Like uh, years, no, not that long, not that long. I don't think. Felt like years. Some some of those games you see them at packs for like three, four years straight, and they're still not out. Like what time? Yeah, what Back time? Home. We're still waiting. That's the one where you're like the you're the doo doo. You're a toilet. You're a tree. <laughs> oh God. Oh yeah. Whoa. Okay. I talked yeah, to the guy who uh, he was like one of the main guys who worked on it, and he said they scrapped the entire game. Right. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, that'll like, do it. Built Forever? it from the ground up. 
<laughs> no, they don't. Well, he, it was missing one year, and then the next year they were back. And I was like, yeah, what, what's going on with this? And he said, yeah, we scrapped the entire thing. And now we've, like, remade the game from the ground up. Hmm. That's crazy. But it's still not, there's still no release date for that. It says 2019 on Wikipedia. Well, and I don't they still have it. to scrap it again, and, you know, then, <laughs> then, then they can get the final version. You got to do it at least twice. I, I have high hopes for that one. That one looks pretty amazing. We were talking about Ape Out, right? Yeah, Ape. so if, if, any, if nobody's played Ape Out or heard anything about this, it's basically if, if in Hotline Miami you were a gorilla. Right. And that's, that's kind of the gameplay. Yeah. And speaking of Birdman, you got the Birdman soundtrack thing going on. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. the coolest part about it. That is mm. that is definitely the coolest part the about it. The whole soundtrack is like just drums, and then when you hit a guy, it's like a snare. Symbols, <laughs> like yeah, symbols and stuff. Yeah, I was gonna say that it definitely looks like Hotline Miami from just the look at it. You know, where you just run into a room trying to murder as many people as efficiently as possible. And then, yeah, well, it's it's a little bit more forgiving than Hotline Miami because you can get hit three times instead of one. But they also kind of mess with you because the levels are like slightly randomly generated. So you can't just like Groundhog right. Day your way through it and, and know exactly what you're doing every time. But this is way more realistic because it's a gorilla. <laughs> but, yeah, that is true. <laughs> that was one of the things that bothered me about Hotline Miami is it wasn't realistic enough. That's why I like, uh, exactly. like the Ape Out. Mm. He can grab people, and then when he grabs them, immediately they shoot their gun in, in front of themselves, no matter what, no matter who's yeah, in right. front of them. Yep. Whenever he grabs a guy, they just have to shoot their gun off. Yep, it, that happens even if they are equipped with a rocket launcher, which is also <laughs> realistic, I guess. <laughs> the monkey was in jail, and he's just trying to break out, but they won't yeah. let him. <laughs> yeah, everybody takes like 13 years to line up their shots, and, you know. I, I just I guess feel they, like it's... At some point, you gotta let them go. Well, apparently that point is after you bring in the guys with the flamethrowers. <laughs> I don't think I actually beat it yet, but I got pretty close to the end. Well, it's if you intense. have... It, it's very intense, but it is it is not a long game. It is very much sort of banking on its replay value, which it does have some of. It's got, like, hard modes and stuff and scoring and things. I mean, it doesn't have to be long for it to be, like, good, though. I think it was a very good game. I think 20 bucks is probably asking a bit much for it, but I thought it was I thought it was excellent. Yeah. I think a lot of people have... They value the length of a game too much. Right. Single-player game, wow. F f f four hours? I ain't buying that. It's got to be 100 hours. Oh, yeah. You can definitely have <laughs> yeah. short and sweet, and I completely agree that people overvalue the length of a game, but, I mean, there is definitely... There's some value in it, for sure. Like, I beat this right. game... I beat the the main campaign in almost the, like, bonus mode in 106 minutes, according to this. I mean, I'm still eligible for a Steam refund, technically, so... <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah. I mean, there's definitely got to be some proper ratio, I think. You know what I mean? You can't charge $60 for a game that you can beat in 30 minutes. You know what I mean? Why not? Well, it kind of depends. I mean, you can beat like a, like a shoot 'em up you can beat that in probably 30 minutes. But it's not going to take you 30 minutes to learn how to beat that game in 30 minutes. Yeah. There are just, there's different ways. Right, well. There's different ways to justify the price for something. It's not just yeah. about time. It's about like the how much there is to it, you know. Oh wait, hold on. I have to issue a correction. It's not nineteen ninety nine. It's fifteen bucks. I think it's fine at that price. Resident Evil Two was sixty dollars. The new remake. I think yeah. I beat that in about five hours. Aren't there like there's like four pads or something, right? Yeah, there's. You can beat it as. I guess you can beat it as another character. So that'd probably bring it like to ten hours. It was a really short game for $60, I felt like, but... Did you feel like it was worth it, though? I still feel like, yeah, that was a, that was a good game. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm thinking about it. I think I beat Metal Gear Rising in, like, four hours, and I didn't pay 60 bucks for that, but I probably would have. I really enjoyed every second of that game. Yeah, a lot of those action games are really short. Yeah, I'm not saying yeah. that... Again, I'm not saying that 20 hours is the minimum threshold or whatever. Like, hours, it doesn't directly correlate to content, but... Yeah. 
it kind of does a little, you know, it's a good indicator. Yeah, there's like a, there's like a, it's not a one-to-one correlation, but yeah, there's a, some kind of relationship there, I'm sure. Some people will just, like, they'll beat a game that has, like, that where a lot of its value is in replaying it, and then they'll just, like, stop, and it's like, oh, yeah, I guess I'm, I'm done now. The game was, right. you know, I, I beat, I beat Zero Ranger uh, by using 15 continues or whatever, and so now it's over. So, well, this game sucked. It was 15 minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> What about Earthbound? Yeah, speaking about lots of yes. hours, huh? Let's yeah. check back in on the Earthbound progress. Uh, status update, I beat the stupid boss that diamondized me before uh, I by That's just good. stocking up on the dumb item that I was supposed to have stocked up on in the first place like an idiot. Uh, so then I went to a desert and I gave some guy a lunch and then I went to Foresight and then I went back to the desert to try to get the gold and I think I was killing some moles. <laughs> He's in the mole cave. Okay, all right. Sean's still. Uh, I remember when I was in the mole cave. Yeah, (laughs) thirty years ago. (laughs) Now, last week I hadn't played Earthbound, but now this week I've beaten it already. (laughs) How did you beat it so fast? That game is long. It was kind of long. I don't know how many hours I have in it actually. How did you beat it before any of us? He just went hard. He went for like three days went, straight and he beat yeah, it. Three days. No yeah. kidding. Mm. Yeah. Well, me and Jason are, we are nearing the end. We got to, um, well, we don't want to do spoilers for Sean, but you know, we're probably a good, well, well like 15 hours into it more than Sean. So, how I mean, did you feel wow. about it? Well, I thought it was pretty damn good, actually. It definitely was yeah. pretty funny. It wasn't, it wasn't, it, the combat wasn't that awful, I guess. You know, it was pretty good. Serviceable. I, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. The dialogue I mean, is, the dialogue is so good. The dialogue was really the good. The best thing by far is the dialogue and the music and the graphics. Yeah. You know what the coolest thing is, though? That, what? you know, if you've never played it, but you've played stuff like Smash or whatever, you just know, like, on it town. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. actually one town uh right? yeah 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 you got on it then you've got yeah. two son and then you've got three it's like yeah. the order of the towns and then so. four side, you've definitely yeah. just blown somebody's minds i get it it blew my mind One, i two, never three, knew right you know in hindsight does that count as a spoiler because if they've never played that game they never got the the joy of learning that secret on their own oh. and that's probably like 80 percent of the game that one, that one reveal is eighty cool. percent of the enjoyment of. <laughs> I, well, I haven't beat it yet, so maybe, it, maybe it's you know, maybe some stuff. <laughs> There's a lot the more to it than that. <laughs> I just thought it was cool because you always hear like on it town from other games. I've never then... heard it. I, I didn't even know that was a thing in Smash, to be honest. What? So. Oh. What? Okay, well that's weird. Well, you know that you know the map, but you don't remember what it's called because you never look at the title. Do it's I just, know? Yeah, this is that map with the cars where they run you over. Oh, right? the car map. That's what that one is. Yep. Uh, See? Yeah. See? Well, what the heck? In in Smash, I always thought he was saying Pika. Pika. Me too. Yeah, me Pika too. Pika Thunder. Pika Fire. Yeah. Pika Thunder. That did you think he was like a Pokemon guy? Or... I don't know why he was saying that. That's to be what fair, I thought though, he was saying. To be fair, Pikachu also says that. Yeah, he has yeah, the same move. Yeah, Pikachu's doing it. He goes, Pikachu, and all kinds of stuff. And you're yeah, like, wow, so Pikachu, that's what I thought Nash was doing it. Yeah, but then why does he even say PK? Because it's PSI. It's PSI in America. It's PK in Japan. Yeah, it's psychokinesis. Oh, it's PK, yeah. Okay, well, here's the real funny thing. Wawa played the entire game, and he thought there was an actual <laughs> move in the game called PSI Pokemon. Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, because oh, that's true. That was real. If he that put was his a... favorite thing as Pokemon, then yes, that is true for him. <laughs> I didn't know <laughs> he that. He was like telling people that it was in the game. He was like, it "Oh was yeah, I found there's a move called PSI Pokemon." <laughs> did you put it in up with those series? Well, I put, yeah, I put in. Uh, and here's here's the worst part. I didn't even realize any of that stuff was going on. I just thought I remembered putting in the people's names. But I didn't remember the favorite thing or what your favorite food was. I'm like, dang, dude, these Japanese people sure do like pizza. <laughs> they're always talking about, they're all like, come on, Ness, come on, or not Ness, whatever my guy's name was, Gooms. They're like, come on, Gooms, you can come home and get some pizza. I'm like, dang. <laughs> Those guys sure love pizza over there, or either that or 
I don't know. The game is set in America, Momo. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that. Yeah, the game, they are really... <laughs> That's all they know about us. Digging in on the American culture or something. What some the thing? <laughs> Sean, what did you call yours? Oh, I have now forgotten what my favorite food was. Um, but I think I what left the... Move. Uh, oh, murder. Oh. PSI murder? <laughs> yeah, so it's PSI murder. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I was so confused looking at PSI Pokemon. I'm like, what the... What? Did this come out at the same time as Pokemon? Did I know, you... it came out like seven years before? Eight years? I was... Like yeah, I... That's what I'm wondering here. I'm like, did Pokemon get its name from this? I don't know. I just can't believe you played the entire game without like checking on it. Well, why would I check on you it? You just accepted it the whole time. It, okay, I mean, I it, was, it, up, it was three years. I spelled it right, like you know how they do in the original Pokemon game, like P O K E M N, like when you're trying to enter your Pokemon box or something. So I'm like, oh my god, because I didn't have enough room for everything, <laughs> you know. So. Right, and he's still <laughs> well, that's that's what made me more suspicious that it might be Pokemon. literally Pokemon because I'm like, all right, well, it's not exactly the word Pokemon, but maybe this means something else. I don't know what it could mean, but we had a similar thing. Leah put in her our favorite food is cookie, right? But then when you get the item cookie, like all the time at the start oh, of the game, so up. she thought yeah. that it was cookie because she put it in. But I was yeah, like, oh, I man. thought I created That's the in the game. <laughs> I was like, oh, look, I made cookie items. Man. <laughs> All right, so we really got to get Sean to finish that up so we can conclude yeah. our man. discussion on our thing. 100% have that finished by the next podcast, unless I forget. <laughs> okay, <laughs> good. That's all we can expect. So we've been playing a lot of Tabletop Simulator. Right, playing some tabletop simulator. Yeah, uh, King of Tokyo. King of King Tokyo. Tokyo. Mm, it's a classic. What's and that other one? Going back to code names. Code names. Code names. Code. That's a really good one. Yeah. I think board games are like blowing up in popularity recently. They are. Uh, my one, my, the guy at my local store always likes to say, you know, board games have really, uh, they've really evolved their tech in the last few years. And I mean, they have. I mean, if you look at like an old true. board game, like Guess Who, for example, or fucking oh, Risk. We played a good show. Guess Who on All Tabletop right. Simulator. <laughs> like, even like, look at King of Tokyo. That game's amazing. You know, that was pretty fun. Yeah. I mean, it was made by Richard Garfield, creator of Magic. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That was made by Garfield? It was made by Garfield himself. <laughs> wow. Well, this is what I wanted to get at here is that so. We've been trying figuring out what actually works well on Tabletop Simulator. So far, yeah. we have a few, but we've tried out a lot. Some don't translate so well, like Monopoly. Mm. Just yeah. too many, too many moving pieces. Too much stuff that can go wrong. And Frankly, Monopoly. that to to me, the fact that Monopoly doesn't work very well in the engine sounds like a feature. <laughs> no. Right. I mean, what that's ex- like we were going back to the, how board games no. evolved. A mo- Monopoly being an old <laughs> no. fogey in the board game department. That's a, that's so, a classic. Monopoly yeah, being a literal... Please do not insult Monopoly for an adjacent. That's Monopoly the board game of all. Monopoly is a classic in the way that the bubonic plague is a classic. Right, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Can, the entire premise of Monopoly, the real way to mit- win Monopoly is to literally just buy up make all deals. of the pieces. No, it's you not making make deals. deals. Listen, Monopoly is all about real life business. No, tech. it's the, po- the point of... Yeah, it is. It is. It's, <laughs> the point is to buy up all the little houses gotta, so <laughs> no one else can buy a little house. Yeah. That teaches... Yeah, listen, Monopoly, fun. it teaches yeah. you everything about real life. It's all about well, right. capitalism... And being a total asshole businessman with no morals, it's all about real life scenarios. As an educational tool, it's very useful. But I mean, yeah. school was very useful to me too, but I didn't have any fun <laughs> in that. So there's not a school board game. So what? Uh, maybe there should be. I'm curious about hearing if anyone has um, more suggestions for us because we've been, you know, really doing it a lot, but now we've gotten kind of stuck on just a couple games because they're the only ones that are actually working on there. Yeah. Well, I think we should play uh, Monop. Okay, well, not Monop. Yeah, that's pretty good. Not Monopoly. <laughs> My biggest fear 
My <laughs> biggest fear is that someone will hear this podcast, go and script a perfect working Monopoly for Tabletop Simulator, and then I will be listen, listen, we don't have to play Monopoly. We can play Star Wars Episode One Monopoly. Oh, yeah, that's Ooh, probably Fortnite worse. Fortnite Monopoly. Ooh, we can play yep, Star, Wars, Star Wars Catan, though. Ooh, what about that one? That's a classic, right? I really enjoyed Guess Who. Vin Diesel version yeah, of Guess Who. Vin Diesel Guess Who. That was a... <laughs> if anyone's looking for a fun tabletop simulator game... It really breathes new life called? into Guess Who. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Classic well, Guess Who. You were asking questions like... Guess Who like... <laughs> <laughs> I have some questions about the Vin Diesel game. All right. Well, uh, you know, I'm an expert at this game. Well, I played it at least ahead. once. Did it feature Vin Diesel from the Pacifier anywhere on there? Of course. Yes. Yes. Okay. What about Riddick? Uh, yeah, Riddick Vin Diesel. He's on there. Uh, they had Vin Diesel as a mailbox. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that from? <laughs> I don't remember that one. I don't remember that one either. They had Vin Diesel as the Mona Lisa. Vin Diesel as the Mona Lisa, yep. Okay, yep. yeah. I, I do remember that one. Yeah. The Da Vinci Code. But yeah, all I gotta say about that is... When are we gonna get Vin Diesel uh, Stratego? You know what I mean? Or Stratego. We should do a Vin, Vin Diesel, Diesel Monopoly. Monopoly. Yeah. Oh, Vin ah. Diesel Monopoly. What is wrong all with you people? You have lost your goddamn mind. That's yeah. an incredible idea. I could see I could see Vin Diesel Stratego. I could even see something more abstract like Vin Diesel Clue. But Vin, Vin Diesel, Diesel Monopoly? Clue. Come on. <laughs> That's crossing a line, my dude. One or both of you needs to be committed. I gotta talk about the classic here while we're on board games. Alright, speak. Okay. We got Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, what about that? Tell game? me about it. Dungeons I don't know Dragons. anything about it. I don't think any of us has played it except for well, you. That's what I was going to say, though. I mean, classic Jason, you? classic Dungeons no. & Dragons, no. But we have, in fact, played a Dungeons & Dragons-esque version, if you recall, Jamal. It what? involved Bill Cosby. <laughs> Bill Cosby? The one what? I made? What? Yeah. Oh, Jason yeah. used to be our DM, so to speak. Yeah. He'd be giving us all the Bill Cosby-related quests. Yep, yep. I had a whole quest line for Wawa. Yeah, we were me and Sage. We were doing <laughs> Bill Cosby stuff. Now there was no, there were no rules, like yeah, in no. advance. We I didn't roll any dice or anything. You just make it up on the fly, you know. And right. I think you did roll dice, but uh, the value of those dice, I just kind of determined it on the fly too. Right. Yeah. If you make <laughs> it, it up on a the good fly, roll, and also like, okay, <laughs> if good happens. That's kind. Of, that's really all you need to play Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, basically, that's all that you do in real Dungeons and Dragons. So also, you guys were just kind of like larping or something. Well, no, yeah. no, well, no, no, no. That'd be Bill if they were Cosby. dressing up yeah, as Bill. If Cosby. We were dressing up and running around yeah. outside. We're not, oh, we're not dressed up like Bill Cosby. We're just, we're just pretending. Well, how do you do? What is? Give me an example of a Bill Cosby scenario. Like, what does that mean? Like, <laughs> it means something very Jason different Dillon. these days. Let's, have, Set up, let's hear yeah, Jason. Uh, let me establish the scene. All right. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> you guys wander into a. Is that Zelda uh, music? <laughs> you guys <laughs> stumble into a dark forest. You encounter Bill Cosby. Free okay. from jail. Run. I exactly. I run. Bill Cosby. I rolled a run away. You roll. Okay, what do you roll? Um, 7,000. Bill Cosby catches you. No! <laughs> See? That's already getting exciting. Yeah. Sean has already sabotaged to... himself. So, we... We don't have characters. We're just ourselves. And then Bill Cosby's Listen. just there too. <laughs> well, well over, the, over the course of the game, you'll see who your character is. You know. <laughs> okay, I was gonna I was gonna assume based on the reaction of the Bill Cosby just now that I am some kind of woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, well, I think we should band together and bring him back to prison. <laughs> <laughs> well listen, okay, Bill this was a more innocent time for Bill Cosby. Maybe. Yeah, right, right. This All is right. Yeah. <laughs> Well, actually, it was not no. an innocent time for it Bill Cosby. It was, <laughs> it was an innocent time for everybody else. It was a 
perceived more innocent time for Bill right Cosby. exactly right. all right so but the point is is yeah so basically it's the 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 horrible principle you got your bill cosby running around doing who knows what kind of evil acts and you gotta <laughs> basically bring him back to prison for unrelated reasons until me you know hey maybe you could make him related now <laughs> i don't think Wait, well, i don't think that would play very well we're role playing about putting him in prison well, not prison, but probably murder. I think he was him. more of like I think he had like so he could shoot a laser out of his mouth, so you had to fight him. <laughs> you could tell that he was too yeah, powerful. You guys were ahead of the curve, right? So yeah, yeah, we we knew is basically what happened. But yeah, so I've been playing actual real D and D for the last couple of weeks, though, and it's basically the same kind of thing. You know, I feel like you know for some reason we've i've seen our map that we've done my my friend made a map and everything it looks literally exactly like world of warcraft map you've got the oh, good for one. some reason hmm. he says it's not world of warcraft nor did he say it was inspired by world of warcraft but you know can, can i ask what a question? Are you gonna do? yeah did he cross out the names and write something else at least no <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's called the Borald of Borcraft. No. We're oh, in okay. We're in Bazaroth. <laughs> yeah, this is Bor <laughs> Borcraft. So what is your character? Are you a dwarf or a I got myself he's kinda like a human, but he's we're doing okay. Let me get into human? that in a second. Come on. What the hell? Right. Should have been a night elf mohawk. I should have been a night elf mohawk. No no no. <laughs> But <laughs> uh, yeah, I got my guy. He's a uh, he's a, he's kind of a human, like I said, not entirely. He's a what do you call it? It's, I think he's a stormborn or something. So he's got like lightning eyes, maybe. I don't really know exactly what he What's does. Does he does he shoot lightning? Well, does he just have a cloud over his head all the no, time? Well, he's he walks faster than other people, and he's got some you know racial bonuses, like he can cast gust every so often, make like a little wind oh, come yeah. at people. Humans can do that. So he's basically Janna. He's Janna. Yeah, he's basically Janna as a person, right. And then he's also a chronomancer. That's his class. So he gets to do some time-related stuff, like roll back if somebody gets a hit, if they get attacked, like my friend gets beat or something. I could be like, yo, rewind, buddy. Undo some wounds. <sighs> I gotta say, for infinite possibilities, that's kind of a boring guy you got. <laughs> <laughs> That's not as crazy as I expected. When, yeah. Well, I, I figured I'd come in there, you know, this being my first time and all. I'd probably not go uh, too crazy, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, you could at least say he's got crazy hair or, like, Boring. Uh, boring. Boring. I want to be... I'm CGI Sonic. Ooh, CGI Sonic. I'm, 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 I'm gonna... Will Smith Genie. All right. <laughs> Did, can I could I be like a half giant that's actually secretly three halflings stacked on top of each other under a trench coat? <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna say that you're you know if you would ask a DM that he'd probably okay it. I would imagine. Why not? Okay. Could I be like a, what if I was like a leprechaun but with like the feet of a rhino? The feet of a rhino? Oh, what? I don't know if, I don't know if science has Why gone that feet? far. He has the, he's a leprechaun with rhino feet. You could have said the strength of a rhino, but you went for the feet. <laughs> or the horn. Yeah, the horn. The horn of a rhino, right? You could have even said the horn, no. sure. The, rhino, have the... the armor of a rhino. <laughs> I'm role-playing. That's, that's you know, I'm trying to keep it feasible. You guys are just making it ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Sorry, yeah. I think with my guy, I mean, he would have laser breath. Yeah. Well, I mean, I feel like laser breath is probably a thing you can get eventually. No doubt. Thematically, that makes sense with the rhino right. feet. Well, you, well, you have to re remember is that the leopard, uh, I call him Rhino Khan. He, rhino was okay. born in, he was born into nobility, but his, okay. uh, his father's keep was uh, was ransacked. By rhinos? Yeah. Rhinos killed his father. <laughs> was his, what? So was it like his father was a rhinoceros and his mother was a leprechaun kind of a thing? Or... Yeah, they were trying the to unite the two, these two desperate, uh, desperate kingdoms, and they, right. you know, their unity merged the kingdoms. But uh, our rhino was angry, and he, he killed his father. Yeah, that, wow, that's what? tragic. Mm. Just like the plot of Frozen. No, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Maybe not. More like Marie Antoinette. Yeah, you're right. Then they find a talking snowman. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so all I was saying was, I guess my, my general overview is, is so far, it seems like it's a pretty, pretty fun thing. I feel like D&D, at least in my area, seems to be getting a lot more, you know, growing in popularity lately. You know? Nice, nice. Yeah, I like to try it sometimes. I like the sound of Jason's version. Yeah, Finally. I feel like yeah. if Jason was the guy that I'm working on an expansion to my right. original. Uh, We're going to finally put Bill Cosby to rest. I'm working on an expansion to the original <laughs> campaign called Rise of Theo. Ooh. <laughs> mm. I Theo like it. Huxtable, of course. Who knows what, what will happen? Three new classes, one new oh. spell. <laughs> Between them? Fight over one new monster. Dang. It's a now, goblin. Now <laughs> with, uh, work into this. Now with added Kalendor. You, you have more classes than added monsters. <laughs> the monster's just a regular goblin. Listen, there was already a lot built into the previous version. <laughs> there was like that, what was that thing? You know, from World of Warcraft. We'll just take them all from there. This thing, yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> that makes sense. They already did all the work. Why should you put more into it? Yeah. So did you yeah. play this Devil May Cry 5 yet? Uh, I did. Um, I mean, I got it. I, I, I haven't had much time to play it because it came out literally today. So yeah. I only got about nine hours in. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> It's like the whole game already. You know, that's not as much as I would have liked personally. <laughs> I'll have I think I'll have more you know, I should be at least like sixty to seventy hours by the next podcast. So I'll be ready to really talk about it then. But so far I am loving it. Just absolutely loving it. Yeah, I played Isn't the it? first mission and it seemed really cool so far. But yeah. <clears throat> Anything else you guys wanted to talk about? Well, I might have one thing to say. All right, Jason, should we tell should we tell these guys about our discovery we made today? What? That big mind blowing discovery. Oh, okay. You thought that Earthbound thing was good? Oh mm -hmm. no! Right? No, please. Get uh -oh. this. Get this. Uh -oh. I didn't think the Earthbound thing was All right, good. I'm bracing myself. I don't want to. I don't want to hurt your guys' minds. Oh no! Okay. Is this directed at us on, or at other people? Yeah. Go on, you know Jason. that song? Uh, what was that song, babe? With the bye 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 black sheep. Bye bye black sheep. Oh you know no! That song Come on. bye okay. bye black sheep. Okay. Right. Yes. Think about it. That's the same song as Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Oh no! And no. the alphabet song. Oh, and the alphabets. Oh god! That's all man. the same song. No. Me and Jason were playing this game where you like tap each other and then you guess what song you tapped out. And it was impossible to distinguish. That's how we discovered yeah. that those are all the same song. Yeah. She didn't so. even believe me. Yeah. She that's, went in uh, she up. went on Google and typed in, is you this can, the same you as can Google it? <laughs> You yeah. can just hear the two when you say them out loud. <laughs> she came okay. back. Well no, you like, know what? Oh my god. <laughs> That's right. the same song. Oh my god, are you guys crazy? You gotta get How are you just finding this it. now? Okay, well, Woa, some people didn't pick up on that when they were like <laughs> three years old singing the alphabet. <laughs> what? Look, you got your Baba Black Sheep, you got the alphabet, you got the Twinkle Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle. Little Star. What, what else is yeah. there? There's other ones. I'm but sure. they're framing them all as their own songs. They're deceiving children. <laughs> Who's okay? framing their public domain songs? Somebody's making I'm, a lot of money off this. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> I think they literally only do that because it's a kid's song, so the kids have something familiar to sing about. Well, like, that's just undermining their intelligence. Well, I think it's actually regular Can't undermine mind their intelligence. intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> that's the regular uh, actual intelligence <laughs> estimate there. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Now that I'm thinking about it, Smash Mouth, All Star. You know, you're an All Star. Get your game on. Go play. Um, I'm not hey, seeing right? that one. I think I'll have to see the side by side on. on this. Go play. I do know another one. It's Led Zeppelin in Chicago. Band Chicago. 
What did they do? I don't think so. Can't say I do. Oh, yeah, that's one too. <laughs> that's one too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Your mind is blown. Oh, my, my mind, mind was just blown. Dang it. Pieces, I needed that man. for things. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we better wrap it up for this week. All right. All right. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Remember to try out Monopoly. Fun game. No, don't do that. Don't do, that. Don't do Sonic, it. Aladdin coming like, in don't the Don't do that either. Much. No. Don't do any Stop. of these things. And we'll see you what guys next fuck? time. On the we Monopoly won't if you play Monopoly. You'll be dead. No. Bye-bye. <laughs>